Have you ever wondered how the city of Rome, with its magnificent Colosseum, came into being? How this ancient city evolved into the world's most powerful empire and then fell into a prolonged period of decline? Today, we're venturing back into the sands of time to explore the captivating history of ancient Rome. In the beginning, there was a small settlement on the banks of the Tiber River. This was around 800 BC. Legend has it that Romulus and Remus, twin brothers raised by a she-wolf, founded this early settlement. Romulus killed Remus in a fit of rage and named the settlement after himself. Thus, Rome was born. As centuries flowed by, Rome evolved from a monarchy to a republic around 500 BC. This shift from monarchy to republic marked a significant turning point in Rome's history. The republic was characterized by a complex constitution, checks and balances, and a strong emphasis on civic duty. It was during this period that Rome began expanding its territories, setting the stage for what was to come. Fast forward to the first century BC. Rome transitioned from a republic to an empire, a seismic shift in its political landscape. The empire was marked by dictatorial rule, with the infamous Julius Caesar and later his adoptive son Augustus Caesar assuming the role of the first emperors. This period saw Rome reach the pinnacle of its power and influence, controlling vast territories from Britain in the west to the Middle East in the east. Now imagine the heart of this expansive empire, the city of Rome. Picture the Colosseum, an architectural marvel of the time, standing tall and proud. Constructed during the reign of Emperor Vespasian in the first century AD, the Colosseum served as a grand arena for gladiatorial contests, public spectacles and dramas. Yet, as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. The fall of Rome was a slow, gradual process that began in the third century AD. Factors such as political instability, economic crises and external invasions led to the eventual fall of this mighty empire. To summarize, the history of ancient Rome can be seen as a tale of evolution and decline. From a humble settlement on the banks of the Tiber River, Rome morphed into a republic, then an empire, reaching the zenith of its power before finally succumbing to a myriad of internal and external pressures. We explored the legendary foundation of Rome by Romulus and Remus, the transformation from a monarchy to a republic and then to an empire, and the construction of the iconic Colosseum. We also delved into the factors that led to the decline and fall of this once mighty civilization. So the next time you gaze upon the ruins of the Colosseum or walk the ancient streets of Rome, remember the rich tapestry of history that lies beneath. Rome wasn't built in a day, and its history is a testament to the rise and fall of one of the world's most powerful empires.